This is Twit. All right, Rob, you're going to make my wife ticked, and uh, you're going to try to talk me into buying something again. <laughs> I, I just I just know. Yes. Yes. I'm going to hear about uh, this, man. It is time for Jonathan to get out his wallet <laughs> as the new furry phone, or maybe it's the fur iPhone. I don't know. <laughs> the furry phone. Neither of them sound great. <laughs> Furry phone, F-U-R-I, furry phone, F-L-X-1, is here and available for $499 U.S. dollars. From their Buy It Now page, first, it says fast, performant, and cheap. You wanted all three? Now you got it. The F-L-X-1 from Furry Labs runs a fully optimized system called Furry OS. Packing a lightning fast user interface, tons of storage, and a privacy centric approach like no other. Furry OS is an operating system based on Debian, designed and oriented for mobile use uh, without any artificial limitations. The phone looks like an actual premium phone. For those watching, you can kind of get a little uh, view of this uh, beautiful looking thing. So it looks like an actual uh, premium phone, and it supports 4G and 5G, and is even able to run Android apps through the use of Wagerroid integrated into the OS. The uh, hardware of the phone itself comes with six gigabytes of memory, 120, 128 gigabytes of universal flash storage 2.1. The CPU has 2x cortex a78s at 2.4 gigahertz and six cortex a55 at 2 gigahertz the gpu is a molly g68 mc4 whatever that is has a front camera 16 megapixel pixels a back camera with 50 megapixels with optical image stabilization and then a macro camera with two megapixels. Charging is wired and wireless and NFC combo. The battery type is uh, lithium ion or LIPO removable battery. Battery capacity is 5,000 milliamps, USB type C 3.0 waterproof, dual SIM slots, Wi-Fi 6, and unlike those other premium phones today, it even comes with a 3.5 <laughs> millimeter waterproof headphone jack. They nice. just don't have the courage to get rid of yet. <laughs> Sweet. So the talk on Reddit makes it sound like it's probably one of the best Linux phones yet. And some people are quite optimistic that uh, mobile Linux it's kind of soon going to be ready for prime time. There's some debate. Some guys like some some people were like within the next few months, it's going to be there because it's almost there with this, they said. And others like, ha, huh, it'll be a decade. But <laughs> so we'll see. It looks looks pretty nice. So and not bad, not a bad price for what uh, mobile phones go for these days. Yeah. Now, is this actually running Linux rather than Android? Yes, it is uh, a Debian based OS. I would have to be Debian. <laughs> At least it's not Arch, oh. right? <laughs> well, I, you, you prob <laughs> it's got USB, so it probably isn't too hard to install something else if you wanted. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I, most of the most of the big distros have like a mobile centric uh, spin. Like Fedora's got a couple. I know there are various Debian and Ubuntu touch spins that. Are, are in theory designed to work on a phone. It's just, it's good luck finding one where it actually works and it's usable. So, I mean, this is interesting in, in that. Yeah, and they make it sound like Android stuff is seamless in a sandbox because that's just how Wagerroid works. But mm -hmm. uh, um, I don't know. I'd love to try it. <laughs> now, I tell you what, I'm kind of... Mention... Go ahead, Jeff. Oh, I was going to say, I'm kind of interested in this. One, it's got a Debian distribution, so... Okay, I'm pretty comfortable there. It's got the jack. Love that because I have uses for it. Mm -hmm. And one of the things they said, oh, it's going to get supported a long time. So I looked and I'm like, oh, removable battery. Because that's, mm. that's a lot of times where I wind up trading out my phones because oh. the battery life is dead. And certain phones, like I had a Google Pixel 1, you basically had to destroy the phone almost 
to swap out the battery. There, there was parts that they said, mm-hmm. theoretically, you could take it apart, but you're going to wind up breaking, you know, X, Y, Z. And you, with the cost of parts, just you're better off getting a new phone. And it's like, oh, I could get security. up. I could keep a phone for a long time. I'm not a power user, so I just a simple apps I'd run, it probably work pretty well. Yeah, some of the caveats about it is, I mean, you can get apps with F-Droid. Mm-hmm. But if you if you're using if you need any apps that utilize Google services, obviously you're not ah. going to get Google services. Yeah, they can't they can't get the Play services on it because it's not actually an Android device. Right. There there are some workarounds for that, but yeah, that's that's a challenge. Yeah, I wonder with Waydroid uh, how I, mean, I think that'd be a little harder than running something like Lineage, for mm-hmm. example. Yeah. yeah. How much is it? Because I didn't look at the website and I'm not seeing any price. Uh, well, you have to click on the buy. It was uh, four hundred ninety nine dollars, which is not terrible for a phone. It's really not. You you can drop a grand these days. Mm hmm. And and still not quite be there if you want really one of the really expensive ones. It has five hundred and fifty crossed out, so I don't know if that price is ever going to go up or if that's just the always on sale kind of marketing gimmick that places do. <laughs> ah, yes, uh, unfortunately popular these days. Um, y- you guys are missing out on the the major disadvantage of this phone. Uh, I-, I hate to be the one to have to say it, but when you pull it out and somebody asks you, "Oh, what kind of phone is that?" <laughs> Flex One. <laughs> it's F-X-1. the Flex One. Oh, who makes it? <laughs> it's the fur iphone <laughs> it's not a whole lot better <laughs> the furry phone yeah that furry labs it's uh i mean um, th- so there's there's a there's a group of people out there that all in on this <laughs> and they apparently are in tech and have lots of money to spend so maybe it'll be a winner we'll see yeah it's maybe <laughs> maybe a little unfortunate in some ways but maybe maybe that was planned <laughs> playing the long game hey it's leo laporte i hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv for more visit our website twit.tv or subscribe in your favorite podcast client there's also a link somewhere down there <laughs>